how una day my people welcome back to the channel so continuation of yesterday's celebration of his excellency mr peter will be the first man who will regain his mandate from the court of appeal over the tribunal yes we know that it is going to happen yesterday was the 62nd birthday for those of you who are not aware and it was a massive celebration all over nigeria a lot of people felt the impact and it was beautiful First of all, he himself said he doesn't want to be celebrated, but obedience now, they know they hear what normally they had to do different kind of beautiful things. All he said he wanted was people should go out and show love to the society by giving out one or two things. And he himself started that particular one by going to the north where he spent his day at the IDP camp in Plateau, Mago Plateau State, after which he visited the government house. And this is the highlight, the full speech from the government house. Enjoy, don't forget to subscribe. Right. Appreciated by Nigerians. Thank you. You've done what is expected of you as the leader. Your Excellency, that's what we have. Just to say, I told everybody, let's go and celebrate with the people in Mango, going there with your gracious permission. Because I can't come here and go to anywhere without your permission. For understanding, we're not here for the politics. Be assured, I'll be part of it. In any way you want me to support, in any way you want me to do anything, I just want to pray my business. Invite me in any way you want me to support. I'll support you. It's not party politics. We're just trying to save a situation that is difficult for everybody. So thank you, thank you sir. for this. Thank you for organizing my birthday. So I remember for those in service. It is this, you think this man is sleeping, don't sleep. We are part of this family. Amen. And we want to be part of it. Amen. Thank you, yes, yes. I would stand as a mark of honor and respect to one who has been a two-time governor and one who has redefined Nigerian politics. Sir, we want to say welcome home. Amen. And uh, to truly wish you a happy birthday. In the midst of difficulties and challenges of life, we will not forget to thank God for the mercies that he has shown us. And I'm sure you have a lot to thank God for. We're highly honored, sir, for this visit, that you thought it wise to come and commiserate with us. We do not take it lightly. Coming to be able to share in the affliction that has come upon us. Indeed, Mangu particularly has been in the news because it was one of the most peaceful local governments. But people forget also about Riom because it looks as if in Riom now the killing has become normal, which is the local government of my deputy. And uh, it, it's to curious minds, they wonder why the attacks began in NS in those two local governments. And sometimes you cannot but link it to uh, some other ulterior motives. But whatever it is, we know that the loss of one life is painful. But to lose at the last count in the last two, three months about 
300 plus is a national disaster. And all we are asking is that this carnage must stop. It has to. Uh, we didn't come into government to be burying people. We came to advance the cause of our people. And by the grace of God, this we will do. Amen. We want to wish you the best. Uh, sometimes what happens in life you cannot understand. Uh, sometimes the graph, the line in life does not go straight. And um, uh, God's ways are not our ways. And um, as we watch God do what he has planned to do concerning Nigeria, one thing I'm confident of is that God has a good plan for Nigeria. One thing I want you to know, sir, is that you have changed the political landscape in Nigeria. You're talking about a Nigeria that works. This is a passion we share in. You're talking about the son of a poor man, nobody, becoming something. The person standing before you is one. Uh, I'm sure if they were looking for great men to become governors, I wouldn't be one. And I know that since it has happened with some of us, it will happen with several others. I'm sure the IDP seeing you will mean so much to them. And we want to pray that the good Lord who brought you safely will take you back safely. Thank you and God bless. It was such an amazing and an iconic celebration, trust me. Like, I don't know who's which politician would actually have his people at heart the way Peter Obi have Nigeria at heart. You know, this man try as much as possible to let us know that it's not just about going to public office to make money. It's about showing love, showing compassion to the people you are actually serving. You know, being there for them, providing for them. And yes, for his, according to him, said in the past 20 years, he hasn't celebrated his birthday because of the drastic situation of the country Nigeria and well we understand with him and by going out there to show that love and show that dedication helping the poor supporting the less privileged providing food for them within his capacity was a beautiful one thank you for watching this video don't forget to subscribe if you are new here drop a comment below